Oh! What was that? Alright, it's festival time. Whoa, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty... Oh, Jesus! Oh, boy! Oh, she's throwing up! Natsuki runs away. Monica. I'm here. Young Pepe, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh, dear. Ah, uh ha, -huh. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Young Pepe? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was here the whole weekend with this dead body. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. No! 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 Why? <laughs> Yuri! Bring her back, damn it! I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from blank tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh-oh. Monica. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? What? Oh, boy. Yay, there you are. Oh, good! Good, what is going on outside? That's something. Uh, hi again, young Pepe. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um, ahaha, uh, you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, young Pepe, or do you actually... Go by Nishi or something. How do you know that? <laughs> Monica, how do you know that? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you don't know. I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Oh, you do know. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you'd paid a little more attention, this would have been a, li a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway... Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ahaha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayuri. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. 
It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, young Pepe? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, young Pepe. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, young Pepe. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. And that's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expensive poems felt empty to me. Or expressive poems. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, young Pepe. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must have been some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, young Pepe, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Young Pepe, will you go out with me? I'm going to save... Oh, god damn it. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's only one option. Ah! <laughs> I'm so happy. You really are my everything, young Pepe. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ahaha, uh -huh. there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is, it really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, young Pepe. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you won't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam. So it was actually a bit more difficult <laughs> to get to the game directory. I had to go into the game's properties and find the browser local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ahaha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, good. Oh, good. Um. Monica's the only one. <laughs> There's nothing alone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh.
Oh, wow. Okay. Uh. Everything's just Monica, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter, honestly. Whatever. Hi again, young Pepe. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, young Pepe. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. This really... There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds their way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my ra realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, young Pepe? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I've always had so I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Well, guys, I think this is it. I think this is the end of the game. I can't actually do anything. Interesting. Um, are you trying to fast forward? <laughs> Are you trying to fast forward, young Pepe? I'm not boring you, am I? Oh, gosh. Well, there's nothing to fast forward to, young Pepe. It's just the two of us, after all. But aside from that, time doesn't really exist anymore, so it's not, ever, it's not even going to work. Here, I'll go ahead and turn it off for you. There we go. You'll be a sweetheart and listen from now on, right? Thanks. Now, where was I? This is pretty random, but I always thought that spicy food was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. Ahaha, <laughs> it just came into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Oh, good. I'm so glad this is a thing. I'm so glad this is how this is going. Could have had Yuri, but no. Didn't, didn't get a chance to have Yuri, did I? No, it was always Monica. Damn Monica, the one I, uh, the one I'm like, ah, I'm never gonna get with Monica. Screw that. Uh, well, you're such a good listener, young Pepe. I really love that about you. Sometimes I'm afraid that I'm rambling or talking about boring things. It makes me kind of self-conscious when I'm having conversation. But I don't feel that way with you. Like I don't think anyone else could make me feel this way. You really are special. I don't want anyone to tell you otherwise. Well, you know what, Monica? This is, uh... This is... I don't know what this is gonna do. But... Oh. Oh, good. Bye, Monica! What's happening? Young Pepe, what's happening to me? It hurts. 
It hurts so much, young Pepe. Help me, young Pepe. Please hurry and help me. Empty file character. Monica does not exist. Help me! Did you do this to me, young Pepe? Did you? Did you delete me? Yes. Yes, I did. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, young Pepe. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? And watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Monica! Oh, God! Monica, I never liked you! Monica, you bitch! You, you're not... You're some crazy computer! Trying to kill me! I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I, just, I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Young Pepe, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. <laughs> what is that? I still love you. <laughs> I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I should have... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything you that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... something. I've made up my mind. Young Pepe, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Are you going to bring Yuri back? Then... What does that mean? Oh, game is not suitable for children. That's that's for sure. Uh, there's no Monica. Well, what does this mean now? Upon closer inspection, it looks like Monica's just not there. So, wonder what that means for the game. Well, time to uh can't load the game so I have to do a new game oh boy it's an ordinary school day as usual I'm surrounded by couples and friends and all that tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something hi young Pepe well there already is one girl that girl is Sayori my neighbor and good friend since we were children we used to walk to school all the time picking habits are you proud of me, huh, for what, you know, for waking up on time? Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said, even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Yep. Always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. We draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with students and stuff. By the way, young Pepe, have you decided to join a club? A club? Told you I'm not really... I start to say what I always do, but I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she started... When she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me, huh? I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. 
I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way I envy her. Once Yuri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's, it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, young Pepe. What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Oh, good. Huh. So you're, you're the young Pepe that Sayuri's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, young Pepe. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're all strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tallest one's name, apparently. Now, Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet you both. I look forward to working with you. Working? Young Pepe, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. No way! No way! Ah! Your, uh, Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Haha, uh, ha. well, if Sayori's happy, then I'm sure it won't be... Uh, it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention now, there's four of us. That means we could become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ah uh, ha ha. What, what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Oh, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? It's cupcakes. The girls arrange at the desk around in the form of a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated with little cats. The whiskers are drawn with the icing and the little pieces of chocolate we used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing! Wow, yeah, whatever. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first one and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already manages to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Carefully place the tea cup in front of each of us was setting down the teapot next to the tray. Ah, you keep the whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, teacher gave us permission. Are you enjoying a book? Oh, I guess so. Oh, already trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Oh, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Take the tea and, you know, not be a pastime, but enjoy a tea. Oh, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, young Pepe, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, well... I haven't read much in, you know, all that and answer in manga. I mutter quietly to myself. Not Suki's perks up. Something to keep quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that kind of, that could change. What am I saying? Spoke without thinking. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traced the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels, deep, complex stories, and levels of creativity and craftsmanship. I tell a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about reading. And she seems so reserved and timid. And now she's lighting up and the books and people. But you know, I like a lot of things. I don't, don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri, huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Your, uh, Natsuki reads manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems really embarrassed. Besides, manga is literature, too. So if young Pepe wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. 
He could take the opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, young Pepe? Maybe, sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it'd be fun, and we'll get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that kind of thing the literature club do, doing stuff. I don't disagree, or anything. Yeah, you know, you're right as usual, President. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Guess that means I, I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Uh, make the two of us. Wouldn't mind doing that if it's if it's not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You could be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Ah, would you like to come along with me? Oh, well, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go home alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Haha, <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, young Pepe. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, young Pepe. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was just surprised when you told me that you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, young Pepe, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Haha, <laughs> there's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh, no. Oh... Oh, no. 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 That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! What's gonna happen? I know everything that she did. Oh, boy. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, young Pepe. Ha <laughs> ha. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. Why is it being weird then? Why is it being all creepy then? It's just us now. Oh dear. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Oh, did I? I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Forever. No. <laughs> no. Just no. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? Oh, it hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, young Pepe. Goodbye, Literature Club. What just happened? Was that Monica?
Oh boy. Playing audio? What? special day How I found everybody upon our sign meant to do today What? It, it's deleting itself, I think. I think the game is deleting itself. Uh-oh. Wait, what's that? <laughs> what's that image? <laughs> what? So maybe there really was, like, multiple paths? Oh, it's little avatars. Bye, little avatars. Special thanks, Monica Young Pepe. <laughs> I guess that was the end of the game, guys. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to call all of the club members. Oh, to being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. <laughs> Error script file is missing or corrupted. Please reinstall the game. So I deleted... I, I, I reinstalled the game. I deleted Monica. She's still popping up. Let's do a new name. New, new game. <laughs> uh, with Monica's character deleted... Kind of wondering, what? This, what is this? Oh no, no, this can't be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all the characters, what? What just happened? What? They're all gone! What just happened? <laughs> oh boy. I... Uh... <laughs> what? What?
Uh, so, interesting. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is because I got rid of Monica? Is this like a secret ending? Or, oh boy. 